quick. All right, brother, what you got? Um, I kind of just got a list of questions I was wanting to start out with. Kind of just um, having you check in on my schedule and check in on what I'm doing. Okay. I've, I've got, first off, I'd like to start with like my two uh, trainers. I got two personal trainers. Okay. Because like I, this is my 13th week into your program, and I was starting from completely out of shape, almost fat body. Did you, were um, you walking? Did you do the walk program? I did. I okay. did. Yeah. Yeah. And where are you and at on that walk program? I'm almost done with it. I'm okay. on the, the, the three, five, three, five, three. And I just did the six mile run last week for the Saturday. And then I'm doing the seven. So I'm almost done with that. What did that uh, look like? What did that six miles look like? What was the time? It was slow. I was running like five mile an hour pace. Uh, it was like an hour uh, on those five mile. On those That's fine. I mean, that's yeah. fine. We right. We ain't worried about none of that stuff. We just got to get in shape enough to start training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. I mean, like, I know I know how to run that 11-mile-an-hour pace, but it's just holding on to it for that, that mile and a half. It ain't a big deal, brother. Like, like yeah. you, if you're just getting off the walk program, I don't expect you to be – I don't expect you to be running really fast for another six months to a year. Okay. Like, it's a long time, bro. Like, I tell people, man, like, I started running in the ninth grade, Okay. I didn't become a decent runner until wrestling my sophomore year, a, a year later. But literally, literally, I just was at home for two weeks, okay? I started off my running one block, and my block is about uh, probably about 600 yards around the block, okay? I went one block for like three weeks. Then I went two blocks. Then I went three blocks, but we talking about like over the course of like four months. Yeah. And then I started running down to Salters Point and back, which was like total, total distance a mile. And that was another couple of months. And then I rolled into the summer. And in the summer, I made this new loop, the loop that I always run, the three, the 2.8 miles. And like I started and I was running by the end of the summer, I was running three of those. But like that's that's over the course of February to like August, you know what I'm saying? So that's like, you know, shoot, what is that? Not seven months, eight months. And I still wasn't running well. Like I wasn't, and I was little. I was like 130 pounds, five, six, 130 pounds. So it, I wouldn't consider myself like hitting the running stride for another whole year. My junior year, I was running. You know, I ran, I ran two miles in 12 minutes, 12.06. And for me with my asthma, like that's about as fast as it's going to get. Yeah. But I was also 160 pounds. No, no, no. When I ran that, I was like 140 pounds. I wrestled 141 that year. You, you talk about asthma. I had asthma when I was younger. I, I kicked it. Uh, you know, you don't tell nobody that, right? Yeah, I was, that's what I was about to ask you. It's like, it, it was you don't a don't tell, ask, don't, don't tell thing. You don't tell nobody nothing. Yeah. I don't care how much they ask you, none of that. Cause they won't let you in the military with asthma, brother. Yeah. Uh, right. So just, I just want you to understand, like, I don't know what your timeline is, but your timeline ain't dependent on what you want to, what, the, what you want the timeline to be. Man, right? it, like it, it's when I'm making numbers, but yeah, I'd like so, to be by the end of the year, but if I'm not doing it by that time. Uh, how much weight have you lost already? I started out, I was like 220 and I'm 188 pounds. Ah, right now. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. We starting to do some real work now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. All uh, right. Um. Yeah, I mean, uh, shin splints. That's that's one thing. I I I think I'm kicking them, but I've been riding them like this is my third month. And the first two weeks, um, I wasn't listening. I wanted to. I wanted to boost myself up through those those running. I wanted to speed it up, and I wound up giving myself shin splints and. I backed off of it for a week um, and hopped back on it, and uh, I'm still I've still got them. Are you Are you doing all the shin splint stuff? Have you I seen my, my my YouTube shin splint channel? Yeah, I'm rolling them out like a madman, eating a whole bunch of calcium. Uh, the tones. How much calcium are you eating? Uh, do you know 20, how many milligrams a day? Yeah, but you can't have, can't do have over twenty five hundred milligrams. Perfect. I just want to make sure because you can yeah. mess up some kidneys and some other stuff. Pumping yeah. more than twenty five hundred a day, okay. It's like twenty four hundred, like I, I yeah, I that's fine. Tons. Okay, yeah. Um, 
but I mean, yeah, I, I laid off the running. This is this week. I'm just laying off the run until Wednesday. I stopped running last Wednesday, and I'm gonna start back this Wednesday. Okay, what? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna tell you. Mm-hmm. Don't. Why don't you take like like since you ain't in no rush, take three weeks and ride the bike. Okay. Don't do any running. You can go walk, but don't do any running for three weeks and ride the bike and roll your shin splints out, roll, roll, roll. Because if you're starting to get a little bit of stress fractures, three weeks from now, they'll be pretty much healed up, okay? Yeah, and, and yeah I, went the, I went to the doctor because I was, I was concerned there were stress fractures. Yep. I, was, I was like walking around, I felt them, and they – they did x-rays and they said they saw stress marks, but they weren't broke. They weren't, they weren't like the tic-tac-toe on the shins. Okay. So, so this is what I'm going to tell you. Take, take a month. Yeah. Okay. And, and let your bones get harder naturally. Okay. So, so if you keep pushing and then get shin splints and then you take a week off and you feel better and you, you're not allowing your body enough time to recover. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah, so and here's I what I'm going to you, I had this conversation with a dude yesterday, man. Some people ain't built for the light, right? But the other part of it is you can't go from zero to hero running-wise because your body just ain't used to it, man. Like, yeah. your bones aren't used to it. Are you changing your shoes? I am. Uh, yeah. I, we, we got custom running shoes for me. They're like Mizunos or the – Okay. And I'm getting them every six weeks to get new ones. Uh, okay. All right, so I would just say, here's what I would tell you, man. Don't, don't, like, just go ride the bike. Ride the bike for so a if week. If I ride the bike, if I ride the bike, like, what am I doing, like, to, to keep up with my cardio and keep up with? So how, so, so are you, you you're just on the run walk program. program. You haven't started time tree or, or 400 no, I don't, yet, I don't, right? I ain't started the time, time tree, but I'm doing runs. There's there's no walking. I've, yeah, I've yeah, yeah. Walking. I know, I know that you're done with the walking. Yeah, yeah. So I, what I would tell you is just. Right, if you got a five mile run, and that's how long is a five mile are taking you? Sixty minutes or about, uh, 50 yeah, about an minutes? hour, like almost okay. an hour on the. So then, then go ride the bike for an hour. Okay, I'd really like you to ride the bike for an hour and a half, but I'm not gonna sit here and, and pinch pennies right now with where you're at. That shouldn't be that big of a deal. Yeah, I get, get your cardio on a bicycle. Don't do any like, be nice on your legs. Yeah, and then continue to do all the all the shin splint stuff and all of that. Because, I mean, in a month from now, your shins should heal up, right? Like, if you got yeah. if you got the beginning of all that, you keep the calcium up, the bones will naturally heal, you're not putting them under a lot of stress riding a bike, and you'll keep your cardio up. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what kind of time you got. I got a bunch of questions for you. Go ahead. Um, you're good, brother. So, I got a swim coach in the morning. Um, right. Yeah. Like, the, when I first started, it was, it was everything. Like, I'm, I'm not a sports guy. I grew up with three wrestler bro- uh, two state champion wrestlers and but that was the closest thing to a sports background I had. I wish I'd played you, you, you said two brothers are the closest thing you got. Yeah. How yeah. you got what state are you in? I'm in Georgia. Okay, so you got two brothers that won state titles in wrestling. You didn't wrestle at all. Nope. That well that, that there's a reason for that, but uh, they wound up going down a bad path and when I was coming up, uh, I was afraid that I was because I was doing all the same stuff they were. Okay. I if I kept on, I was going to go down the same path. I got you. They 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 went from wrestlers to street fighters to in trouble, right? Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. I, I got a, I got a I got a dude that I know pretty well, man. That dude, while we were in high school, was street fighting for big cash, man. Big yeah. cash. No, so they I mean, they were mainly drugs. It was mainly drugs. Was their problem. You said drugs. Yeah, they got I, hard into drugs. Yeah, man. I don't know. Like most wrestlers, most wrestlers ain't big drug dudes, man. Although I do. One of our big time wrestlers in my state died my sophomore year. High on cocaine, man, was in a car high and drunk, and car caught fire. And he he said he just wanted to sit there while the other dudes got out of the car, and then the car blew up. Bad deal, man. Dude from Eatonville, man, one of the savages. So I got you. It's all good, bro. We we deal with it, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All um, right. 